Are you familiar with or aware of VA pension income? Maybe not. You might be surprised. VA pension income is not really a pension at all. And it's very easy to get confused with a military pension, retirement pension. VA pension income is really just a nice way of saying welfare. What happens is when a veteran is almost destitute and really has no other means of support to provide for themselves, they can receive benefit from the VA. The VA labels this as VA pension income. So what happens is when you pull a certificate of, of eligibility from the VA, and this is the document that lets you know whether or not the veteran is eligible for a VA loan, if there's VA pension income, it will be listed on this document. Also listed on this document is instruction that the file has to go to VA before it funds. So the lender has to approve it, underwrite it, and approve it. And then the file has to go to VA for their review. And so in cases where there is VA pension income, what the VA is looking for is they're comparing the income that was provided to VA in request of and approval, approval of the pension income and comparing that to the income that was provided to the lender. So what happened today was we had a veteran who had provided his income to the VA and was approved for the pension. But since that time, he had gotten married and now his wife's income, who was her income was considerable, that changed his ability to be eligible for the VA pension income. However, had we sent that file into the VA for approval and VA did their comparison, what they would have found was that the guy now makes too much money for the VA pension income and like A, that would have been cut, his pension income would have been cut off and B is they would have calculated some sort of calculation and deemed that he owed them overpayment. He owed them back for overpayment of that pension income. And so not only would the file have lost the income from the pension, uh, VA pension income, but now we have another debt that we would have to deal with for, for the repayment of that overpayment and likely would have killed his deal. So fortunately, we're able to catch that on the certificate of, of, of eligibility and get on the phone with the veteran and come to the conclusion that we probably don't want to send that file to VA the way it is now uh, because of the problems that that may cause him in the future. So if you know of anyone who is talking about getting a VA loan and uh, pension comes up or VA pension specifically, it's a conversation that you definitely want to have because once you send that file in, they're going to compare the documents provided in the approval process for the pension income with the documents provided to the lender for the approval of the home loan. And if there's a disparity between those two numbers, which likely there is, if you can qualify for a home loan, it's unlikely that you would get approval for the VA pension income. So in that case, there's a good chance that the file will get derailed and the veteran would lose their pension income as well as having to pay back the overpayment as deemed by the VA. Something to be mindful of and uh, share this information with any veteran that you think might uh, benefit from this information who is looking to get a home loan.